on August 24th, Bishop Robert Reed was ordained as an auxiliary bishop for the Archdiocese of Boston. Many are familiar with his ministry with Catholic TV out of Boston, and Catholic Communications has been a great partner with Bishop Reed over the years. He recently sat down with Peggy Weber to talk about his new appointment and how he hopes to continue to spread the good news. Bishop Robert Reed got a surprising phone call from the papal nuncio last spring. He said, is this Father Robert Reed? I said, it is. He said, how are you feeling? I said, I'm feeling fine. He said, well, Pope Francis has named you a bishop. Do you accept? And I just was stunned. I, I, when I composed myself, I asked him if I could think about it a little bit. He says, he says, sure, take two or three hours. Call me back this afternoon. Bishop Reed is used to tight schedules. Since 2005, he has been the head of Catholic TV Network, which is available in over 13 million homes, and has a website with a 24-hour live stream. He also is cabinet secretary for the Catholic media for the Archdiocese of Boston, and he is a sincere priest. So he took the time to pray about what he would say to the nuncio. I couldn't find any reason, good reason to say no to Pope Francis, so I said, I accept. He will now serve as the auxiliary for the Western region of the Archdiocese of Boston. He was ordained August 24th, along with Bishop Mark O'Connell. Bishop Reed has always been working hard at evangelizing. His vocation began in the back of his first grade classroom. It was there that he heard a compelling story that planted some very strong seeds. I was in the first grade classroom with Sister Lydia and she told us this story. It took like 90 seconds to tell of Saint Tarsisius and how he had uh, courageously carried the Holy Eucharist uh, during a terrible time in the church in the early days of the church and um, he, he was overtaken by a, a mob and, and killed. He was martyred and, and it just dawned on me that even as a kid wh what a great gift that is for a young person to, to love Jesus so much that he would give his life. In a sense, Bishop Reed realized at a very young age that anyone, no matter their age or education, can make a difference in the world and spread the wonderful messages of the Catholic faith. In his recent book, Renewed, Ten Ways to Rediscover the Saints, Embrace Your Gifts, and Revive Your Catholic Faith, he challenges everyone to get involved. Instead of wringing one's hands and wondering what is the church going to do, he suggests what everyone can do. It's everyone's job to spread the faith. And, um, you know, we're inspired by the saints and the greats that have gone before us, but we also can be very, very much inspired by one another. And in the words of St. Catherine of Siena, that all the way to heaven is heaven, Bishop Reed has spent most of his life in heavenly pursuits. He attended St. John Prep in Brighton for high school and college, and then studied at the North American College in Rome. He also holds a master's degree in television management from Boston University's College of Communication. And he is innovative and is responsible for creating the very popular Catholic game show for kids, WOW. Well, we have a lot of shows that we produce here at Catholic TV, but the one that's probably nearest and dearest to my heart is WOW, the Catholic TV challenge. Uh, I always loved game shows. And uh, so having a game show that we produce regularly here at Catholic TV is a way for us to, to touch uh, young people's lives, families' lives, uh, Catholic schools and religious education programs and parishes. WOW shows the range of Bishop Reed's work. He is perhaps most familiar to this area when he and Jay Fadden host the half-hour show This is the Day on Tuesdays and Friday mornings at 10.30 a.m. The viewership there is incredibly loyal and personal. Here in the, the set for This is the Day, our, our live morning show, uh, we call it the Catholic TV living room, affectionately. A uh, very important piece of furniture is the prayer box. Um, and so here in the living room, in that box, when people send in prayer intentions, we put them all in that box and then we ask all of our viewers uh, who watch the show and who are a part of the Catholic TV family to pray for all those needs uh, of their fellow on-air parishioners. If Bishop Robert Reed were not a priest, he probably could have been an air traffic controller because he makes it look easy to keep all the planes going. He manages to keep a schedule of parish life, Catholic TV life, and now his new life as a bishop, all coordinated. 
Bishop Reed will be busy. He is now the pastor of Good Shepherd Parish in Wayland. However, Bishop Reed is not worried. It's a matter of organization and scheduling. I'm convinced of that. And I think there can be a lot of interplay. Our mission here at Catholic TV is to bring people closer to the parish, to connect them with the church, uh, even if they can't get out to their local parish. And so being a pastor of a parish and being the pastor of the parish of the airwaves just seems to make sense. Western Mass native Bonnie Rogers has worked with Bishop Reed for eight years and praised this selection by Pope Francis. The reaction to Father Reed's appointment as Auxiliary Bishop has just been amazing, just amazing. You know, we see him every day. You know, we know when he sets aside time to pray his rosary. Uh, we know how hard he works creatively for, you know, the TV ministry and for, for everything that we do here. Uh, and his love for his brother priest, that this has been for us a real um, affirmation of his tremendous work, uh, his holiness. Bishop Reed is happy to serve, but is uncomfortable with praise. He describes himself as just a kid from Swampskit, and he says he wants to live out his Episcopal model, Jesus is our only hope. As a bishop, I, I'm a priest, and, and to, to be ordained a bishop is to be given the fullness of the priesthood. And so I've loved being a priest, absolutely loved it uh, for, for 31 years. And so I see this as more of the same. And, you know, we're at a critical moment right now uh, within our society uh, as a church community. And, and I see my role as, as I say, more of the same, to really reach out and evangelize, to bring people uh, into closer contact with Jesus. For Real to Real, I'm Peggy Weber. We congratulate Bishop Reed and wish him well in his new work. And we are happy to announce that he has agreed to come to be a celebrant on the Chalice of Salvation in May of 2017.